All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving our praises and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His Son, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly called God in Jesus Christ. All right, and through the Holy Spirit. So, call Allah Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well, who received this truth from through the Spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And Shalom to the brothers that's laboring in this gospel, all right, in the hopes of being delivered, being a part of that 144,000 that he let, all right, that will escape from the wrath to come from the Most High, man. This is part done back with another lesson, and in this lesson, I want to get into the judgment, the judgment of the nation of East, uh, Edom, okay? The Edomites, which today are the so-called white people, their judgment is written in the scriptures, man. All the wickedness that they have uh, done in the planet Earth, they're not going to get away with it, okay? They will not go unpunished, all right? And for the captivity that they put the Israelites under, they will be punished for that as well. So I'm going to go into the scriptures, all right, and back those statements up. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying, all right? Meaning that it will build up your faith in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, okay? So this is Nahum 1 and 3. It says, Yahweh is slow to anger and great in power, and will not at all acquit the wicked. So the Most High is, is allowing this devil to do his thing in wickedness until his judgment, all right, until his judgment time comes, okay? So the Most High is being slow in anger right now with the so-called Edomites, man. But he will not let them go from their guilt against the Heavenly Father, man, for their wrongdoings, for their wickedness, all right? And the wicked is you so-called white people, all right? The nation of Edom is the wicked that the Bible speaks of when the scriptures say that the world was given into the hands of the wicked, all right? The Most High gave the world, all right, and the power and the control of the world into the wicked hands, which is the so-called white people, man, the Edomites, okay? To find that out, you go to who? You go to uh, Malachi 1. And four, it says, whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. All right. So the nation of Esau, Edom, they was impoverished during the, the Dark Ages. The Dark Ages is a time when after the Roman Empire, all right, after the Roman Empire, the, the pagan Roman Empire was taken down. Jake came into power, all right, making it the Holy Roman Empire, and they ruled during the time of the Dark Ages, okay? That's when the nation of Esau, Edom, was scattered into the mountains, all right? That's why they're called Caucasians. So it says, we are impoverished, but we, re we will return and build the desolate places, okay? Thus say Yahweh will post, they shall build. So the Most High will allow them to build, which you see right now, they have built their kingdom, all right? Starting with America, but I will throw down. But the Most High said, look, but I'm going to throw it down. I'm going to take you out of power, all right? And they shall call them the border of wickedness. And they're going to call them the border of wickedness. Because everywhere this Edomite goes and everything he does in the planet Earth, he spreads wickedness, okay? And the people against whom Yahweh had indignation forever. So the Most High has righteous anger against these Edomites forever, man. All right? There's no place of repentance for you Edomites, man. Regardless of what you say, man. Jesus, uh, your, your white Jesus Christ is not going to deliver you, man. All right? And take you up to milky he uh, heaven, man. Okay? You're going to be judged, okay? According to the scriptures. So... Let's go back to Nahum. Nahum chapter 1 and verse 3. It says, Yahweh is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. And Yahweh had his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds or the dust of his feet, man. So the Most High is controlling everything. The reason this devil was uh, ruling the world in wickedness is because the Most High is allowing him to do it, man. All right? But there's going to come a time, like the scriptures say, that the Most High is going to throw, throw him down, man. All right? So let me get a quick precept. This is Job chapter 20. This is Job chapter 20 and verse 4. It says, Knoweth thou not this of old, since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, that the reign of the wicked is short, that the rulership of the wicked is short, that the glory of the wicked is short? 
and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. All right. But the it says in the joy of the hypocrite for a moment. Hypocrisy, man. Saying, God, we trust, but keep none of the laws of the Bible. OK. Verse uh, six, it says, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds. Yeah, and his devil excellency has mounted up to the heavens. He got his planes in the skies. He got his satellites in the skies. And his pride is lifted up very high, man. All right? And he thinks he's going to continue to rule forever. But like the scripture said, the Most High will throw him down. Verse 7, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They shall have, they which have seen him shall say, where is he? Okay? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night, man. Okay? Like I said before, the Edomites, man. This is talking about the Edomites. How do I know that? Precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Who's going to be chased away out of the world forever, man? All right? The nation of Edom. Esau, Edom, man. Okay? It says... uh. Obadiah 1 and 18, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the, of the house of Esau, for Yahweh had spoken it. So you so-called eat, you Edomites, all right? You Edomites, the descendant of Esau, Edom, your forefather, you're going to be destroyed, man. It's no, it's, you're going to go into slavery after you're taken down out of power for a thousand years in the kingdom of heaven, which is on the earth. And then after your thousand years of slavery, hardcore slavery, that I might add, okay, which you have us in, is going to be two times worse than the captivity and everything that you've done to us. And after that thousand years, you're going to be exterminated like a roach. All right, so let's go to Zechariah, uh, Ezekiel, so like Ezekiel chapter 25 and verse 12. Thus said Yahweh, all right, thus said the Lord Yahweh, because that Edom had dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and had greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Yeah, and that's what the nation of East, Esau Edom did, man. Because during the time of uh, King David's rule, all right, we had these damn uh, Edomites in slavery, okay? All right? And they were of, they, they took it personally and they revenged themselves, all right? They paid us back for having them in slavery, okay? Verse 13, it says, Therefore, thus said Lord Yahweh, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. I will cut off man and beast from it. I will make it desolate from teeming, and they of the Dan shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, man. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna beat you with a rod of iron. We're gonna beat beat you down in the kingdom of heaven, man. And they shall do and eat them according to mine anger and according to my fury. Let's get some some um, anger of the Most High. All right. And they shall know my vengeance, said the Lord Yahweh, man. And you Edomites, you're going to know the Lord's vengeance, man. When the, when the Israelites that you have in oppression and captivity rise up through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemi Shah, when Yahweh Shah come back and fuck you up, man. That's what's going to happen. All right. Excuse my French. So this is Psalms 137 and verse 6. It says, uh, verse 7, Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem. That day was the day that the Babylonians came and took us into slavery, man, who said, race it, race it. So they was right there watching the Babylonians uh, take, take us into slavery, all right, which... uh. Was was the southern kingdom took into slavery by the Babylonians? All right, and um, they was right there saying race it, race it, meaning burn it down, man, burn it down, even to the foundation thereof. All right, 
old daughter of Babylon. So Esau Edom is connected with the daughter of Babylon. All right, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots. Okay, Esau Edom will be controlling Babylon the Great, the daughter of Babylon, in the last days. Okay. Because the scriptures talk about Babylon being burnt with fire, being a, a perpetual desolation. That didn't happen to the ancient Babylonian Empire, that Neo-Babylonian Empire, okay? The, the Babylon, all right, the ancient Babylon would, um, is located, right, uh, is located in Iraq today, man. And people still live there. So it's not become a perpetual desolation, all right? This Babylon is talking about the modern the modern day Babylon, which is America, okay? It says, Who art to be destroyed? Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that take it and dash it, thy little ones, against the stone. So that's a little that's a little taste of the most high's anger and his wrath against you, Edomites, man. Alright, we're gonna take, we're gonna be happy while we do it and dash. Thou little ones against the stones, man. Your babies, man. All right, and that's true justice, man. All right, and we ain't gonna we ain't gonna uh, stop crying to the Most High for this justice, man. All right, until He establishes Jerusalem as a praise on the earth and judge you Edomites, man. All right. So this is uh, Ezekiel forty nine. Is it, uh, Salakia, Jeremiah forty nine. Jeremiah 49, Jeremiah 49 and 10, all right, I'm going to read 10, jump down to 12, it says, but I have made Esau bear and have uncovered his secret places, and what's the main secret of these so-called white people, that they're the Edomites that the Bible speak of, man, that they forefathers Esau, all right, which they tried to keep here for forever, man, all right. Uh, 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 committing identity theft, acting like they're the Israelites when they're the nation of Esau, Edom, and he shall not be able to hide himself. He can't hide now, man. He exposed his his seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbor, and he is not. Verse twelve. For thus say Yahweh: Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunk it. Talking to the Israelites. We was created to be the rulers and the governors of the earth under our powers, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, all right? And not to go into slavery, but to rule in righteousness. But because of, a, of our disobedience, we found ourselves in captivity, man, all right? And that's that cup, man, in slavery, man, suffering the curses. It says, and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished, Esau, Edom? Shall you go unpunished? Hell no, thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it, man. That cup, that cup of slavery, man. All right, that cup of all the curses that we are uh, under. Read Deuteronomy 28 15 on down, man. That's gonna be your judgment, man. All right, that's gonna be your judgment, that's your future. But thou shalt surely drink of it. So, the, the only thing you eat of my uh, can do right now is just live it up, man. Because when the Most High is ready to judge America, all right, and judge you Edomites, that's it, man. That's it. That's it. That's it for your happiness. Cause you gonna go through a, a thousand years of pain and grief, all right. So this is um, lamentation, lamentation four and. 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, all right, that dwelt in land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through thee. Thou shalt be drunken and and shall make thyself naked, man. All right? You Edomites, you're going to be destroyed, man. So, as the scriptures say, rejoice and be glad, because you're going to surely drink of the cup, man. All right? Let me see, uh, let me see. All right, this is Jeremiah 51 and 17. Awake, and awake, stand up, O Jerusalem, which has drunk at the hand of Yahweh the cup of his fury. So the cup is now going to pass unto you, Edomites, the cup of fury, man. Thou hast drunk in the dregs of the cup of trembling. So you, 
Edomites are going to be messed up in the kingdom, all right? Your head's going to be bashed in. Your baby's going to be uh, 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 destroyed, all right? Your woman going to be destroyed, all right? You're going to suffer the curses, man. A cup of trembling, man, all right? Which when Jake and his society here in America and all across the world, but mainly here in America, is like you have no... You have no peace of mind at any time here in this in Esau's kingdom, man. All right, the same thing is going to happen to you in the kingdom of heaven. You're never going to have a minute of peace, a, a minute of mental peace. Okay, you're going to have physical rest. All right, during the Sabbath. All right, during the Sabbath days. All right, because. That's the Sabbath. We got to uh, honor the Sabbath and keep it holy. We can't do no work. But as soon as that Sabbath day over with, all right, as soon as the sun go down, it's it's over with for you, all right? Just like them dogs that was in the movie I Am Legend, ready for that sun to go down so they could get it. Uh, 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 hey, what's the old boy name? Oh, damn. Damn. Will Smith and his dog, all right? That's how we're going to be on your ass in the kingdom of heaven, man, for a depiction, a small depiction, okay? And it says, and ring them out. Verse uh, Isaiah 51 and 22, thus said Yahweh, yeah, uh, thus said the Lord Yahweh and thy power that plead the cause of his people, behold, I have taken out of Thine hand a cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of fury, thou shalt no more drink it again. We're not going to drink it again, all right? Once Yahweh shall establish the kingdom of heaven uh, on the earth, all right, and put the Israelites in power, all right, which is the kingdom of heaven, all right, we're never going to go into slavery again, but you're going to drink of that cup for a thousand years, man, all right? And then that's your future, man. That's your future. So with that, Lord willing... This lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His Son, Yahweh Sha.